Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first review video. Yes, it's the time of the year again where I look back at the year. I usually do three uh, the top jerseys that I got this year, the top 10 jerseys of the year and then the top 10 moments uh, of the year. They all very personal perspective for that one. And we start with what I think this time around was the easiest for me, which the top 10 jerseys that I got this year. For this one, I have the latest jersey that I, I got, uh, one of the latest, uh, the Slovakia uh, home jersey from 1819 that I showed you as a Christmas present. It's, it's a really a gorgeous jersey. Um, but it does not crack my top 10, but I'm very, very, very glad to have that one. Um, I'm also gonna add, five jerseys that were a disappointment uh, for me because that's also quickly taking stock this year i got i added a total of 47 jerseys to my collection which is i think a new high watermark uh which honestly i did not expect i tallied it up yesterday and i was a little bit surprised because last season's 40 jerseys i really thought that was it, uh, that will be high watermark because during the first lockdown and when we were, I kind of held a little bit back, but yeah, I made all, I got all crazy towards the end, second half, and maybe a little bit also at the beginning. It also didn't hurt that I got a pretty big present from my brother at the beginning of the year, uh, which definitely helped also get the count up by quite some. In any case, so I'm gonna run, show you the top 10 jerseys that I got and also the five disappointments, just exemplary. And I'm gonna um, intermingle those a little bit. So I will show you um, first, um, uh, I start with 10, then I do uh, the first disappointment, uh, two, two more and so on and, and so forth, because I wanna have it a little bit mixed up. I will not do honorable mentions this time because I got a little bit, um, tired of them because it's you know the video gets just very long and it also gets long so yeah uh speaking of best jerseys so this is a great jersey that I didn't get this uh, that, that i got this year that didn't make the top 10 and this is one that was also very close in the this psg uh jersey the away jersey which was one of my favorite jerseys from last season it did not make my top 10 this year as for disappointments, one that also just didn't did make the list because I have to I have to say that disappointment was rather minimal. Is this Germany jersey, which I got for three euros? That's why this the disappointment is not so big, which is a clear fake. Uh, as soon as it looks, it looks really alright, but as soon as you hold it in your hands, you realize it's a fake. It's a little bit tighter cut, which the fakes from because they're mostly made in China, uh, smaller people. They, uh, that's the first one. Then the crest here. A little bit floppy and then uh, also the FIFA World Cup logo, although it looks of good quality, it is unfortunately, unfortunately fake and is one of the, uh, I wouldn't say disappointments because I'm not planning to replace that one unless I see a good deal, but um, I would have wished, it's of decent quality, quality, quality enough that I can keep it, but I would have wished to have gotten a real one, but you know, this would have been a big steal. So let's start with the number 10 jersey that I got this year. It might not be the flashiest one, but I'm so proud that I got it. This Liechtenstein, let me move a little bit. It's this Liechtenstein home jersey from 1819, which I bought in Liechtenstein. Yes, I used to be uh, traveling a lot and trying to get to new countries and suddenly from 2005 on life took over and I didn't visit a new country until this year, which was Liechtenstein. And I really did not plan on getting this one, but then I saw a sports store there and you know, uh, maybe I can find somewhere a Liechtenstein jersey. And yes, I found a Liechtenstein jersey and I even found an XXL, which for Macron, this is my size. It's not XL because uh, it's a much looser fit and a much nicer fit. It's a beautiful jersey. Just look at the crown is doubled up here and then the Vaduz Castle, which was uh, where I bought the sports store, right up there was this castle. So I think this is even another nice feature. So yeah, I'm really happy. This is a nice story. And I even remember I, 
I, I, I was driving only, only with my girls this time and I said, yeah, we're gonna uh, watch now Vaduz a little bit. We took half an hour, half hour walk uh, through the city center after we had to find, and then I saw the sports store, I'm going in and you know, they point me, yeah, this jersey, this jersey, you know, Barcelona's uh, turquoise jersey and so on. And I said, no, I want this. And then I'm going, shall I buy it? Yeah, Papa, you should, and I buy it. And, and uh, the both of them, I go out, Papa, what did you just do? What did you just do? I loved it. Got this one. Yes, it was full price, but um, couldn't pass up the opportunity to get a Liechtenstein jersey. Now, for the first disappointment, it's actually a beautiful jersey. It's this PSV jersey. I love this jersey. When I saw it and, you know, look at the patterning. The problem is, I washed it for the first time and the sponsor started to clear. I probably didn't wash it properly because I, I put a long wash in, which was my mistake. But, you know, the Strutman and so on, that is all fine. But this sponsor up here just came totally loose. Uh, a little bit disappointed. I tried to fill in with some permanent marker here. And, you know, I have to get one and maybe do the whole thing, redo it. Uh, will be a little bit of work, but I think this is the way I want to go. It's not a huge disappointment because I still think it's a really, really nice and fine jersey. But I was disappointed that this came off. And it was unfortunately not the only jersey where this happened. Let's do two more. Now coming in at number nine, we have another Macron jersey. Did not expect that this will end up actually, but uh, you know, I was posting during the lockdown uh, every day a new jersey, and this is the one that got the most hits. Everyone, and I get so many good uh responses from that one from all over that it just gotta be in the top 10. it's not the flashiest jersey and it's not the classic power jersey i really would have liked to one have its stripes but you know i ordered from classic football shirts and i got this one but there are some really nice features on that one first of all i really like the cut it's a triple xl and it fits just fine it's just very long but um the crest pow can get, get away with have, having it um kind of decolorized in the gray it's usually white but i think it is fine and then it has the full name of the club in greek around it and then another nice feature of course is um, a fan chant on the bottom of the jersey classy look very nice jersey comes in at number nine then at number eight we have Nice Roma 2002-2003 European home jersey. Uh, it's not in super condition, but I got this together with two others for 25 euros, including shipping. Uh, and I have to say, I would have paid 25 euros just for this one. Yes, it has a few flaws. You saw it in the video that I posted recently. It's a gorgeous Roma jersey. And I love the jerseys, the Kappa jerseys from that uh, period. Um, I know I would have liked the Diadora just before the cup, but that's probably my, um, with the Lupetto on the um, shoulders, that is probably my uh, dream Roma jersey. But this one is pretty special, special and worthy contender at number eight. It would be higher if it was in slightly better conditions. It has a few holes up here and one here, but other than that, look at it again. Uh, I love the colors, I love pretty much everything about it. Let's stay with this color for disappointment at number four. Another jersey that I was looking forward to to have for a long long time. I always regret I didn't get this during, during the World Cup, the Holland 2010 jersey. Um, you know the story, I don't like my Holland with necessary black, I rather have, have it with white, but this one balanced out the white and the black so nicely, and then they reached the final. It would be nice to have this one, and then you couldn't get it any, any anymore. I would have bought it. Why is this a disappointment? Well, it had Wesley Snyder back on there, and after the first wash, it came completely off. I mean, it was flaking, 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 and it took it off. I have to say, I don't mind the ghost, it's uh, Wesley Snyder back there. It doesn't look all that bad. It's just a hint of Wesley Snyder, but honestly, disappointing. Because I probably would have got it without the number, if I would have had the choice. But now that I have the number, uh, that I had had the number, it sucks a little bit. That it off, and that's why. This is disappointment at number four. 
we are hitting now. We're going to number seven on the countdown. At number seven is this beauty, Real Madrid 1920 away jersey. I have to say this is gorgeous. Yes, it has one flaw. There's a little bit too much black on there. That color and especially the three stripes. I don't know why they did them in black. I think it would at least the three stripes would look much better in black, uh, in gold. Now this the the this this is navy, so the color is fine. The three stripes I would have loved to have in gold too, but I totally love the pattern on there. I love navy jerseys. You see it also on the back. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Really well done. A worthy jersey. I'm even fine with monochromatic crest here because it just fits. This is, I call it my Galactico jersey. Yes, this should be sound wave, but honestly, for me, these are the stars. These are the, it's a Galactic jer jersey for that reason. Really, really beautiful. Got it on sale for 50 euros, which is still a little bit much, but yeah. Comes in at number seven. At number six, we have another beauty. My first ever Bundesliga jersey, the 1997-98 Hertha Berlin home jersey. I was looking to get, uh, at the beginning of, of the year, I said, yeah, now that I'm making uh, Bundesliga videos, I should get a few Bundesliga jerseys. And yeah, this was among the first batch together with the Dortmund jersey. I saw this one, I said, I need to have this. At that time, I didn't have a single hooped jersey, so that was the first uh, must-have. But this is just so iconic. I mean, it's not a typical Hertha jersey because I think the blue is a little bit too dark, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. And the nice detailing in there um, with the Hertha flags in the pattern. Then uh, the color is iconic, I have to say. Here, these are the classic Hertha colors, but I even love the crest this way. And then the way the sponsor is applied by just, um, you know, it has a little color run on it, but it's really beautifully done. S is an absolute classic, gorgeous jersey. Very, very happy to have that one. Comes in at number six, which tells you there must be five really, 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 really special jerseys coming soon. But before we go to the really, 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 really special jerseys, let's look at another disappointment. Coming in at number three, and I, this disappointment is, I saw this jersey for 10 euros. I ask yourself, is this, a, uh, is this an actual Umbro jersey? Yes, absolutely, 100%. The problem is at this page they're saying, and this is always this is always the gamble. Um, I mean, they introduced now a feature, but not many wanna do that feature. Uh, all sales are final. And if if I get this from a distance, I cannot send it back. So I'm really, really mad at this. And this is also the case for other jerseys. Um, I saw this one, I checked, did this jersey, this is, I think, a, a Manchester City 11-12 jersey. Um, I checked a little bit because I, I, I knew I need to be fast. If this is the real deal, this will sell immediately. And, you know, I checked, I checked the pattern, everything uh, looked all right. Yes, this has a dotted pattern, which I didn't realize it has also this uh, race car um, uh, pattern here. I said, yeah, let's get it. And you know, I open it, it has the Premier League patch, great. The eagle looks all right until you see that you cannot actually read what's down there. And if you look at the real eagle, you see that it's an absolute abomination. And then the jersey is just small, small. I wanted to have a jersey that, that reminds me of that championship day because this was probably one of the uh, most exciting last match days that I ever have seen. I paid only 20, but I wish, I, no, I paid only 10. It was for 10 euros. So I paid not much for it. I'm still very mad that I even oh, worried, that I even bothered paying for that one. Um, yeah, a um, little disappointment. I wanted to have a light blue city jersey for my uh, Premier League v videos because I only have the away jersey. No, not gonna happen. Let's go to number four. Five. Number five is actually three jerseys. I think the one that I would put there, although it's not my favorite of the three, is the Italy Renaissance jersey, which I got from for my birthday. Uh, I think this is the most, um, how, how to say, the most special of the three. But of course, I have got the away jersey 
and I got the home jersey. And I think if I had only one of these, I would not be that happy. But I have to say, this is such a great set of jerseys. And as you saw it in my unpacking for of the of my Christmas video, I think the three. This is one of the best sets out there. Absolutely, one hundred percent, one of the best sets out there. I love the home jersey, although the first time I saw it, I thought, oh, this is just a Renaissance jersey, but no, it has a different pattern. The away jersey, yes, some say this looks a little bit like a tablecloth, but I actually, this would be almost my pick of the bunch. I have to say the blue one is probably the one. The green one I didn't like initially, but this is the most special jersey. This is where we saw for the first time this crafted from culture theme, and it is meanwhile an iconic jersey and was always voted highly. So yeah, this is officially the top five, but I think I have to say it's the entire set that's just uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous jerseys. Very, very happy to have gotten these. Then we come to number four, and here it was really tough. Which one do I put uh, in the top three and which one uh, not? Number four. And it pains me to say, because this was one of my top jerseys from last year. I think it was in top three. Is this Roma jersey, the away jersey? This lightning bolt design is just an absolute beauty. I saw this, this was easily one of the best jerseys last season. Easily. I think, as I said, I have it, I think, number two, if not two or three. One, one, one of those. But I said, ah, oh, this will sell out and this will, and the, but then everyone went for the blue one, which I would have liked to, to be honest. And then, uh, when it was already Corona times, I saw Roma play Napoli exactly in these, and I'm telling my wife, oh, Roma is tr making a big troll job on me. Uh, no, they played first in Napoli in that one, and then they played at home against Parma in that one. And then I just started to look, is this still available? And then I saw it on sale at Nike, and I got even for signing up another 10%, so I paid only 30 euros for it, for one of the most gorgeous jerseys. And I think I saw Webpage, they picked this as the top jersey from uh, last year. Absolutely happy to have it. This is this is a jersey that I really wanted to have. I was briefly thinking about putting a Zaniolo back on there because the Hyundai is a little bit lost, but so be it. It's wonderful. My, it almost cracked the top three. It was really, really, really tough to decide. But before we get to the top three, second biggest disappointment. And disappointment because I thought I had it all figured out. I asked the seller, okay, show, show me the tag and everything. Is this a legit jersey? I saw that the La Liga patch is not well applied. I said, well, if it's really the pay, I can put maybe another one over. It's of course this severe jersey. Well, I was so, when you see me in the unpacking video, I was so happy to have it. Um, and I have to say now that I have the real deal back there, it is really, really, really close, but this is washed out. This is not right. And this, although mimicking very well, you can see it's just fake. And I would have loved to have Andre Silva. I mean, I, I like I like Andre Silva, on, honestly. So I was really happy to have this. It's just a fake. It's just a fake. And I did not pay little for that one. I think this cost me uh, 25 euros. And I was so excited to get finally a Sevilla jersey and then blah disappointment but not the biggest one but that's the second biggest disappointment but at least i got it replaced with a proper one and i got a nice video out of it so out of every bad jersey you sometimes get something good out of it top three coming in at number three is drum roll please drum roll please this is the most this is the most recent youngest jersey in this list carnival jersey just the the current Probably the most expensive jersey I bought ever, but I knew I wanted to have this one and I wanted to have it in full customization because I like in Bundesliga jerseys that you have the a club name and you only got it with when you put customization and then, you know, my favorite number is 2027. I even got it with the sleeve sponsor, which you could have gotten without, but uh, and the Bundesliga patch. I saw this at first and I said, hmm, interesting. Then I saw the details, it's be gorgeous. Then I looked a little bit around and I thought, yeah, what, what are the home jerseys for current? Because I have only the red jersey and I thought, yeah, maybe it's time for a white jersey. Then I said, I'm not gonna get a, a nicer 
home jersey than this one. And this is so current with all the little symbols in there. And I have to do a dedicated video on this because it is absolutely gorgeous and well done. And you know, I ha I have yet to wear it properly. I mean, I've a little video. I kept the tag still on. I don't even want to wash it for, for now because it is this is in prime condition still. And the way it came and that uh, how I could or or it and yes, it's a little bit limited, so makes it all special. This is one of the nicest jerseys of this year. Very happy to have it. Comes in at number three. I have to say, the top two they take a little leap because those were jerseys that I really, really wanted to have. And at number two. Uh, not only that I was looking for it, because this one I knew if I want to have it, this is going to be expensive. Guess how much I paid for it? Zero, zilch. My brother gifted me his. I remember him showing me uh, pictures. Do you want to have these jerseys? And I see this one and I say, you got to be kidding me. How much do you want? Free. Really? Please absolutely worth it look at this i mean this is i know he got it my father bought it for him uh during, during the world cup because i had a france jersey my brother had jerseys he wanted to give him a jersey he was i think 12 years old or something like that at the moment and he wanted to a little bit support him against his big brothers uh so it's an m it is tight but i fit into it this is absolutely gorgeous yes there's a little pull here on, on the sleeve but other than that it's in prime condition it doesn't have the star so this was bought during the world cup Cannot complain much. This is a dream jersey for many, many, many people. This is the um, first World Cup winner where I really wanted that, te that team to win. 994, I did not, um, I wasn't sad that Brazil won, but I, well, I felt really sorry for uh, Italy. In 98, I was all in for France. Thank you, Wolfgang, again. This was a dream jer jersey of mine. I knew you have it. And uh, you gave it to me. I think this is top on almost everyone's wish list, and I'm glad to have this one. And that leaves us with the top choices. Let's go for the biggest disappointment. And I'm so sorry to say it because this was my Valentine's gift from my wife, where I helped. I said, I found a jersey that would be the perfect, perfect gift for me. It's a little bit pricey, but I think it's perfect as a gift. Ajax, 1819 away. I saw this one and at that time I didn't know too much um, about what to look for. I just thought, oh, this looks legit and I just got the Leicester jersey. I said, okay, let's get this one because I thought I will not be able to get it anymore. The first thing that's really, really gave it for me away, I just opened it and I was so excited and you know, I I hate because I know my wife got it from, uh, for, 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 for me and, you know, I hinted it. it is so I, it's all my fault. It's really my fault that this stripe is gray. And then, you know, it gets a little bit wider. I'm still happy to have it. It's not a bad copy, but this should be white. Then when you put it on, it is a little bit tight and uh, the X is here a little bit too big. Uh, that's the first thing. And then when I compare it to the Leicester jersey that I have, which is basically the same template. Just look at this this way. It's very, very clear immediately that this one is not uh, the right, the real deal. And uh, just, just killed me a little bit again. I think it's a decent enough copy. This is the cloth uh, crest, so there's another giveaway. And also when I wear it, the sponsor kind of rolls in a little bit. It's not bad. It's not bad. And I looked at it over and over. It's very well done. But I would not have paid. If I would have known that, I would have paid maybe half the price for that one. So yeah, uh, that's why. Biggest is the disappointment with the added stuff that I said to my wife, this would be the perfect gift for me. For valentine's so yeah cannot win them all she got me the year before a really nice island jersey so um yeah this time uh, you know i it's not on her it's all on me it's all on me 
So after the biggest disappointment, we can only go one way. The biggest. And this was Father's Day gift. You know which one I'm talking about. This I made in 2018. Top 10 club jerseys I wanna have. This came in at number two. There's only the centenary home kit missing. This is the perfect Milan third jersey. I wanted to have this one as soon as I saw it. Never got it, finally have it. Yes, it's only M, it doesn't fit me. Look at it, it is perfect. And that they won the championship wearing this one just makes it even more perfect. This is, was and is one of my dream jerseys. It was not cheap, but I got in a pack, package with the golden Milan jersey that they were wearing. Uh, it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I want it, I needed it in my life. I have it hanging in my office to see it very, very often. It is just, it's a dream. It's my dream jersey. And it's the best jersey that I got this year. So yeah, this ends my little countdown. Let me know which jerseys you uh, liked out of this one, whether you would have re-ranked any, 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 anything. Um, and you know, if you watched my op opening with maybe you would have put some, something else in this top 10, but this is how I felt. This is the top 10 choices I got this year. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see the other top 10 review videos and anything else I'm doing on my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.